Good morning, uh, thesis class. Uh, let us pray before we start. Our Father, please give us wisdom and understanding as we start our lessons and uh, give us self motivation so that we can uh, do work. Thank you for hearing our prayers. In this name we pray. Amen. Uh, on our board, we are seeing the under the CHED uh, Memorandum Order Number 25 Series of 2015. And on page 49, we have here the undergraduate thesis for computer programs uh, guidelines in the annex. We will read the, the things that concern computer science. So Article 1, Introduction, the committee, the CHED has approved programs for computer science. These shall henceforth be referred to as computer programs. This shall also include any programs endorsed by the technical panel, TPIT, and uh, approved by the CHED. The thesis projects are required for candidates for graduation in all computing uh, programs. Both thesis and capstone projects are terminal project requirements that would not only demonstrate the demonstrate a student's comprehensive knowledge, comprehensive knowledge of the area of study and research methods used, but also allow them to apply the concepts and methods to a scientific problem in their area of specialization. BS computer science students are required to complete a thesis that is focused on the theories and concepts of computing in the form of scientific work. It is expressly understood that computing thesis <clears throat> and need not require surveys, statistics, and descriptive methods unless appropriate. So it's a little bit different from the educational thesis or the psychological or social sciences thesis. <clears throat> Higher education and institutes our institutions are required to include thesis and capstone projects in their curricula. The policies and standards for undergraduate thesis intends to serve as a guide for administrators, faculty, and students, alike in determining what are allowable standards or capstone projects in the context of undergraduate studies in computing. Okay, in Article 2, the thesis project specification. Section 2, Definitions. A thesis is a technical report on a systematic investigation of a problem that can be solved using computing. It may include a solution, an approximate or partial solution. <laughs> That's nice because it can fool a solution or even approximate or partial solution. <clears throat> a scientific investigation or the development of results leading to the solution of the problem. So it doesn't have to be complete. We can have a scientific investigation, we can investigate something, or development, or, uh, okay. A computer science thesis must be anchored on computer science principles. And capstone project is for the IT and IES. Okay, the scope of the thesis. The thesis should integrate different courses, including programming, Basically, it's uh, the root, the most basic requirement of usually software development and computer science in general is uh, programming. It's the basic, uh, what is this? Basic skill. <clears throat> and competencies learned in the curriculum. Students, so if we learn the software engineering, system analysis and design, uh, ethics, programming one, programming two, web, database, uh, networking. We are all using these things in the thesis. Students are encouraged to produce innovative results. Things that are not yet there or uh, improvements of things which are there already. Or maybe things which are expensive make a cheaper version even if it's not complete generate new knowledge or theories or explore new frontiers of knowledge or application areas oh explore new frontiers of knowledge or application areas for computer science this is involving the development of software systems <clears throat> should involve algorithm based research and development founded on computer science principles so algorithm is nice because that's what uh, computers do this should be reflected in the final report. 
The thesis project advisor should determine the appropriate complexity level of the specific problem being addressed. Okay, so if it's not, if it's too trivial or easy, we cannot approve. If it's too hard, uh, hard to imagine, uh, we cannot uh, accept also if uh, there is no plan written which you can think of. Because if you can imagine the plan, that means you can execute the probably. If you cannot imagine the plan, you're just dreaming. Uh, we don't know how to estimate and uh, probably it will not be finished. Okay, so the advisor should determine the appropriate complexity, uh, acceptable complexity and the specific problem being addressed and proposed solution. Considering the duration of the project, the composition of the team, and the resources available. In this uh, thesis, I want to enforce uh, one-man team because I want to check, uh, make sure everybody knows how to do all parts of the work, especially everybody knows how to make programs because that's the most uh, important thing I can teach you. Documentation is easy. Uh, like mechanical, but programming is really the contribution of computer science to any company, make, making things easier. And even small, simple things like simple database, I can accept as long as uh, you can work completely with a project. You can do yourself. <clears throat> so that will be the focus of the uh, thesis uh, project, making sure that all of you know how to make applications which help the companies that you will be applying to. Suggested areas of thesis. <clears throat> the following is a list of some suggested areas per program. The specific areas identify for each degree <clears throat> program may also be considered for the other computing degree programs depending on the scope and limitations and approach and the following principles stated in preceding sections. So computer science, computer science uh, <coughs> theory, mobile computing, so software development and theory. So if you have a new development or theory, for example, you want to make your own uh, framework, it's okay. Mobile computing systems, you want to make a mobile app that solves some problem which you cannot find. For example, I was trying to look for a mobile app to teach you which gear to use if you are new in driving manual car. Software extension for <coughs> or plug-in. You want to make a driver for some hardware. You want to make, uh, in my undergraduate thesis, we had a library catalog in the library. And I made an extension for that library catalog. So that is acceptable also. Expert system, if you have plenty of data and you want to make a system that can answer or help answer some questions which are not very easy for humans, but with computer data it will be easy because of the plenty experience or database, the big database. Help making, help uh, decision makers make good decisions. Other things, system software, software tools, if you want to make your compiler or you want to make a software interpreter or a simulator or a security uh, framework or security <coughs> tool. What else? Intelligent systems. Maybe you want to make intelligent uh, appliances or intelligent solar power manager or something. Game development. You have to make it, right? Game. Computer vision. Okay, this is very common research. Like in uh, many people are using the, uh, computer vision, CV. Improving on computer vision. Image signaling, signal processing. Maybe you want to analyze uh, audio signals or other kinds of signals and to try to get to 
identify what kind of object is making those signals or what kind of birds are making those signals, what kind of animals. Natural language processing, you want to answer questions like Google. I'll answer questions. Uh, if you want to make an AI, maybe. <clears throat> uh, natural language processing. For example, you have the whole Bible and uh, you ask who parted the waters and crossed on dry land. Of course, you should. Maybe your program will show Moses or Elijah and Elisha who parted the waters. Okay. How to look for that and how to get from the natural language question to the answer is an interesting problem. <clears throat> Pattern recognition, yeah. Compression, pattern recognition, uh, data mining. If you like to work with big data sets, if you have available or imagining plenty of data. Uh, if you already have a system and you have plenty of data, you can also add pattern recognition and data mining on your uh, software to make it uh, more interesting. Bioinformatics. Yeah, you may want to make your own program for dentists, program for doctors, or programs that help people with their uh, body or life, or uh, give them advice on how to have long life and exercise or something like that. <coughs> graphics application, if you want to make uh, graphics processing, can be nice also. Automatic uh, logo creation, automatic video creation this is interesting and the, probably with also great financial uh, reward also cloud computing very popular but this is quite advanced because usually you want to have plenty of hardware available for you parallel computing okay this is nice most of the time computer science really are the ones responsible for uh, splitting the processors, uh, many cores into splitting the problems across many cores. And embedded systems, if you want Arduino or Android or these small computers, it's interesting also. And you can do it in computer science. And emerging technologies, uh, that one is always changing. What are the new things in computer science? Okay. <clears throat> Where also possible to make uh, foundational computer science uh, thesis like automata and formal languages, very deep, deep uh, thinking, data structures and algorithm. If you want to make your own pick sort or your own leap frog sort or your own tree sort or bush sort or wind sort or window sort, you can also make. It doesn't have to be faster than the rest as long as it's new or you're the one who taught it with web semantics <coughs> about the internet and the world, world wide web coding theory if you want if you are annoyed with some language you want to make a better language programming languages visual system if you want to make your own uh, visual PHP <laughs> or computer and architecture, you want to put hardware and software and networks together. Uh, you can also do that. Modeling and simulation, wow, this is very interesting. Instead of wasting lots of money experimenting, you can experiment inside the computer. You can also do human-computer <coughs> interaction, like usability. How usable is this program? Or improving the usability of this program. Maybe changing the user interface, changing the layout of the keyboard, and uh, or making the computer more effective, effective computing, not just error, error, error. It can tell you this is better, this is better, this is better, or empathic computing also. So those are the <coughs> things for uh, computer science. Uh, the thesis duration, sections five, Students should be given ample time to finish their project. <clears throat> Most of the time, uh, it is not the documentation that makes the project long, but the 
the motivation on programming the project. Uh, you have to do enough system analysis and design. You have to, and really the core of the, everything is usually the programming because that's the computing thing. <clears throat> Two to three semesters should be prescribed in the curriculum for business computer science to complete their thesis and one, okay. Many people do not finish. Maybe they are distracted with work or they are uh, distracted with games or distracted with other things. That's why some people take two years or more to finish their thesis. <clears throat> so my advice really is to uh, face the problem and do the programming quickly as fast as you can while you have put your limited amount of energy and motivation in the programming and the documentation and the research, everything can come first. Of course, before you program, you have to do research, <coughs> meaning related, what are the things available and you get ideas here and there. But make sure your prime energy is focused on the programming. The maximum number of units may be required for thesis is nine units. <coughs> Grading systems and possible honoria rates for thesis are left to the discretion of the institution. Provided that such policies are not grossly disadvantageous to the students and provided further that such policies are documented and approved by the proper HEI authorities. Composition. Students should preferably work in teams of two to four members depending on the complexity of the project. So I really want to I enforce one team, but we will make everything simple and <clears throat> I will make sure the panel will not fry uh, the students because we really want to have uh, make sure everybody knows how to do everything, even in a simple way. If we, if we will make everything half and I will also help how to do it. Advisor should be able to determine whether the team can complete the project <clears throat> on time, yeah. So, uh, of course, I cannot fully determine because I will try to encourage, but if, if you don't do your work, what can I do? Multidisciplinary teams are also encouraged, provided the team members prepare separate documentations per program. Panel composition. The project is prepared under the guidance of an advisor and presented and accepted by a panel composed of at least three members that includes the advisor. So your previous uh, grades and the motivation and success in software engineering, in programming, in web, in networking will greatly affect your thesis. If not, they are all factors your success in the other subjects, your motivation in the other subjects will be all factors in whether or not, uh, how fast you will finish the thesis. <clears throat> okay, presented and accepted by a panel composed of at least three members, that includes the advisor. Okay, okay. So advisor, panel qualifications, and then we have the presentation. Thesis and capstone project must be presented in a public forum. Wow, this is nice. <clears throat> this forum may be international, national, or school-based. Okay. It doesn't need to be the same defense, but we will want to present all your thesis to at least the computer science uh, forum of uh, AUP. There is a thesis format <coughs> suggestion. Students shall be required to copy, okay, this is the computer science thesis. We have the title page, abstract, table of contents, list of figures, background, reduction, background statement of the problem, <coughs> objective, significance, scope, <coughs> limitation, related literature, theoretical background, which includes comprehensive discussion on theorems, definition, fundamental algorithms, mathematical models, formula, proposed solution to the problem. Results in discussion includes theoretical proof conclusion. Appendices may include the following. Relevant source code. <coughs> so you don't need really to include all the code. 
which is this here, relevant source code. One page curriculum BT. Okay. So for software development uh, project, title abstract, table of contents, figures, introduction, project context, purpose, description, objective, scope, limitations, literature, technical background, relevant technical aspects, design methodology, include discussion or conceptual design system architecture, block diagrams, and algorithms, and results. Simple. Indices, source code, relevant source code, evaluation tool, test documents, sample input output re reports, user guide, okay, one page curriculum detail. So that is a very, very nice, uh, <clears throat> of course, IP rights, all theses must not infringe on existing IP. All prior works, including open source, open content, and creative commons content shall be properly cited. Okay, we should respect copyright and intellectual property in our uh, thesis. So, I would highly encourage you to just think of a problem. Actually, the documentation you can just, it's not so hard. The biggest part of the thesis is the programming. I want you all to learn how to do it. If you are not confident with your programming, uh, there is, I will make a review of uh, software engineering class in another video. So that's the guidelines for the ch from the CHED for Computer Science Undergraduate Thesis. Thank you for watching.